Tanaka is not all made the same. And you'll see many different varieties of Tanaka powder online, um, in the stores in Asia. And I just want to show you the um, compare the differences in Tanaka. So you can see here I have two different brands. Um, one is on the left and one is on the right. So as per the traditional methods for Tanaka, just add a few drops of water to a little bit of Tanaka powder and mix together until you get a paste. So you can see this particular one, it's very, very fine, um, but it comes, once you add the water, it becomes very grainy. It doesn't become smooth and it doesn't stick well to the back of the spoon. Normally a very high quality Tanaka will become very much smooth um, a little bit of the wood um, grain, very little bit, and also it would become very malleable. <clears throat> it would be very smooth and it will stick to the back of the spoon. Moving on to number two, uh, another Tanaka powder. This one doesn't have a very nice smell to it, and you will see when I start to add the drops of water, something very strange happens. Start mixing, and it's completely different to the previous one. The color is very different, and it's turning into a clay blob. It's sticking to the spoon, yeah, but it's like a clay. We're not looking for clay, we're looking for a wood smooth uh, paste. You can see it's all getting very clogged up. You have to add a lot of water to this one to get it to become smooth. And even still, it still just clogs up and it's very much like a clay. I'm not too sure if they're adding clay to this particular powder. They claim it's 100% pure Tanaka powder. But you can see the color is very different. The consistency is very different. And it's very much like clay. So move those two along. We don't like these two. So this particular Tanaka is called Truly Tanaka, and it's 100% pure, grade A, the most finest Tanaka that you can find. It is from Myanmar, and you can see the actual powder is very fine powder. The color is correct, and we add it to this nice mixing bowl and wooden spoon. You can see that the consistency is pretty much different compared to the other two. And when you add the water, you will see a significant difference. Normally you can add around one uh, teaspoon of powder to around one to one and a half teaspoons of water. So just start mixing the two together. Add a little bit more water. And you'll see this with this particular powder, uh, the water doesn't get seeped in instantaneously like the other two. The other two, the water just went straight in there and clamped everything up and this one is very different you can see that it's hundred percent pure because the water is like think of it like nature when it's raining outside and you see the rain fall on the leaves the water doesn't just seep into the leaves instantaneously it forms a bead onto the leaf and then the bead will drop down to the other leaves so with this you need to really mix in the water into the tanaka powder because this is 100% pure. It's the finest grade possible. It is from Myanmar. So let's test it out. You can see the color is different. The consistency is different. I might have added a little bit too much water, but you can see it's very smooth and it stays on the skin very well. I added a little bit too much water, but if you add too much water, you can add a little bit more powder 
until it's right. But there you can go, you can see it's very smooth. It's got a little bit of the grain and it sticks to the skin. It's not like it's not like clay like before. It doesn't have a weird yellow color. It's the correct color. The smell is absolutely amazing. It's very much like a um, a cedar wood smell. The wood smell is out of this world. The other two, um, the second clay, the second one that was made of more of a clay, it had a very acidy kind of smell. So here you can see, the first one is very grainy. I placed it on my finger and compare when it dries. We'll do a com comparison once they've dried on my fingers. So you can see this one is very, very grainy. And again, we will add the second one to my finger. Let it dry and see the comparison. You can see already the water is very much drying out on this one. The color is different and is very much like a clay consistency. And we'll do the same with the Truly Tanaka 100% pure Myanmar Tanaka powder. So now it's been around four minutes, five minutes after I applied the Tanaka powder and you can see the differences between the three. Uh, first at the top is the very much clay consistency. Number two is the very much grainy, doesn't really stick on the skin very well. Uh, number two. And then number three is the 100% pure Tanaka from Truly Tanaka. I don't have much left, but you can see it's stayed on the skin, it's starting to dry nicely, and it's becoming a nice mask. And this can also be used as a face mask. So you apply this to your face. It's best to leave it on your face for between 20 to 40 minutes, and then you can wash off after, uh, with lukewarm water. So there you go. This is the Truly Tanaka 100% pure, grade A, finest quality, truly original from Myanmar. You can find them at trulytanaka.com. So I will be making some more videos on Tanaka. So check them out and also subscribe to this channel for more videos like this.